Hello, folks. Welcome again. For I'm the one, the only Hobo Tom. I'm here to talk about some SmackDown. I know the last Raw show was kind of long, so I'll try and pick up the pace a little bit. Let me kind of get stuff on my desk ready. Ooh, that's right. I did go to the gym. Yes, always distracted for some reason. Again, when I get paid for this, I'll have less distractions. But until I get paid or monetized, I'm going to be distracted probably as anything. Well, let's talk about some SmackDown. Oh, some news and notes. Um, there is a hurricane coming to Florida. Thumbs up. Hurricane party time! Which means, as long as I have power, because I know it's supposed to hit Sunday, so it shouldn't be too bad. So I should be able to get my predictions. My predictions! There, there we go, center myself. My predictions in. One, because I'll be doing that either Thursday prob Thursday night, probably. Okay, but right. If I didn't busy, I have to go cash in my aluminum. I don't want cans flying all over the street because of me. Saturday, I still should be able to catch NXT TakeOver Cardiff and All Out. I think the only thing in question might be the Monday Night Raw review show. Oh, I have to do that too. Ooh, I'll have to do that while while this thing processes. What's about some SmackDown? It was a good show. The fact that it's shorter, it kind of feels its length a little bit. Where Raw's a three can be a three hour slog. There's a time where it's like, yeah, we're gonna take a nap. Back then it really keeps the pace up. Some of the booking of the matches kinda of weird though. I don't have some time. A little bit. Okay. Yeah, because I'm making cookie brownie cookies. It's making boozy brownie cookies. Yes, yes, yes. Instead of a Japanese cheesecake, such as seem way too complex. Who smacked you? That's what I get for not getting enough sleep. Or two nights in a row. Uh, comes out Roman Reigns. Will or will he not apologize to Daniel Bryan? We shall see. Then it's also Kofi Kingston, uh, recap and promo. Randy Orton eventually comes in, reads a letter written by Kofi's son. Please don't hurt my daddy. And the brawl ensues in the grill position. It was fun enough for an opening segment. At least there's action. You're just not. You're just, it's just not talking heads going out there like fighting and stuff. Again, Randy Orton does. Randy Orton does like his tables though. I like that. Then there was a King of the Ring update. And then about 15, 20 minutes, we get some wrestling. First match of the night, we have Mustafa Ali. I like saying the two names. I don't know. Maybe I'm old and goofy. But, it, but well, so it's, it's Ali versus Buddy Murphy. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Oi, oi, oi. Uh, Ali tried to get a good fast start in. I'll tell you what. Buddy Murphy has that knee, man. One thing I can say is that both these wrestlers actually can fly. They fly a little bit and do their flippy stuff differently in their own unique way, though, which which is good because it doesn't. It's not like same spot, same spot, same spot, same spot. It has a little bit of variation into it. I know it probably doesn't make a lot of sense that way, but that's what it feels like, though. Uh, Buddy Murphy's just a lot more physical, though. He's the bigger of the two. Again, he was at 204 and three quarter pound. I'm sure he's probably closer to 215 now. Okay, this is why 205, especially when they kind of dialed in after Enzo Moy left. Oh, Enzo Moy. What's that sound? Oh, Enzo Amore. Whoa. Flashbacks. Ooh. 
bad flashbacks too. But again, this is why T05 was fun and became fun. Um, wow, that Ozzy can fly too. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Oi, oi, oi. He hit that V trigger and brain buster. I thought it was over. And once I saw that, that wasn't the finish. I'm like, oh, wow, he's not winning. Uh, still, this is amazing stuff, though. I mean, they had a great trading of strikes. The tilt to world draping DDT. I never saw that before. I like seeing stuff I've never seen before. And Ali went over, so Ali's advancing in the King of Random because this was awesome. And this also earns a Surf and Turf rating. The reason I say it was a Surf and Turf, you can tell that you can tell that they they were actually telling each other the spots. And when I can actually see them telling the spots to each other. It's not going to be that flaming on match. So they can do it. They might be both laying down there. They might be saying, hey, let's do this. Okay, yeah, let's just now on three. Break. But when, he, when he's like, okay, ready? Yeah. Monkey flipped me into the ropes. Then slingshot me somewhere. See? Get bounced to the ropes. Oh, here we go. Oh! So when it's really obvious, it takes a little bit of the fun out for me. Again, maybe because I'm kind of like looking for stuff. You never know. But again, it was a good surf and surf match. And then it was Ember Moon and Bailey promo. Ember Moon says, I respect you, but I still want your title and I will fight you for it. Bailey's like, okay, we respect each other. Um, obviously... They don't respect L Lacey Evans, and, and I don't think a lot of people respect Lacey Evans. Which is a whole other issue, I guess. Wow, I guess that shirt did get a little tight in the collar. But again, this is my oldest wrestling shirt, though. The Bullet Club one has a nice stretchy collar. So does the Hobo shirt. Oh, so comfy is my Hobo shirt. Uh, after that, it was Miz, supposed to be Miz versus Sami Zayn. <laughs> Miz is always the eternal IC champion. He is a great worker. He he works a very solid style. Again, he's always a he, heel who says truth. He is always present. He's never had a serious injury. I'm sure he's had his bumps and bruises. So he's always there on the show. He does the house shows. Again, he's he he's. The IC is the work the working man's title. You can't fault Miz for being the working man though. However, uh, coming down, Sami Zayn starts talking to him. Then Shinsuke jumps Miz. <sighs> New Japan style. Shin Nakamura, Shinsuke. Because I'll tell you what, the Kinshasa against the LED against the ring LED. Ooh, that looks. So New Japanish. Just for the fun of it, it was good to see vicious Nakamura. I'll give this a ham sandwich because there was no match. So because there was no match, but it was fun though, it still gets a ham sandwich. And then you have Elias and Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens is looking for Shane McMahon. He's not in the office, but Elias is there, and Kevin Owens looks confused. Whatever. The next match, they could have cut, they could have added five minutes to the Ali Buddy Murphy match, which probably would have bumped it up from a surf and turf rating to a filet mignon match. I'm going to downgrade that too. It was Bailey versus Lacey Evans. Lacey Evans had like 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 some like cherry print bra that you would see at I guess like a Rue Twenty One. I used to go there when I had a girlfriend. It's one of those woman boutique stores, whatever. Or old Old Navy, I think used to have stuff like that too. Um, 
Lacey Evans is still botchy. I mean, there were a couple spots, and you're like, huh? Why'd she just flop? Kind of sloppy. I honestly thought when Charlotte came out, it's like, oh, good. Charlotte's going to fill that Becky role and, and just have a death the finish to this match because nobody cares. Because the crowd went silent. We need someone to play the smackdown on somebody. It did not go that way, and I was kind of disappointed. She was just there in like, her street clothes. I don't think she was wearing her makeup. And for some reason, you can't say this about all the WWE women. Who was it? If you take off Alexa Bliss's makeup, she looks amazingly cute. Who's the one that looked dropped it? I think it might have been Billy Kay. You take away her makeup, she looks. <laughs> She's hot as anything. Without her makeup. Looks good. Sasha Banks actually looks better without her makeup. Wait, I think they all look better without their makeup. Except for Charlotte. Charlotte, you skipped the makeup woman's chair. Came on you. Uh, Charlotte came out, I figured she, she would be there. And, and again, oh, the Tez mission is just being buried. Taz mission. Lacey, just, just never do the Taz mission. It's, it's not a rest hold. It was the most feared hold in all of ECW. And you've buried it. You buried it under a pile of dog poop. Yeah. I can say that, I think. You buried it in a litter box. That sounds better. Uh... Bailey wears black panties. Terrible the fact that one I'm looking, two you can tell. Uh, uh, then Lacey starts to work over Bailey's arms. This is where she's actually good. She knows how to work over body parts. I want to know why Lacey Evans is getting so many belts opportunity. She hasn't done anything. She's not that good either. Oh, I know who looks really cute. I know who it is now. It's Boo Sonya Deville. Boo Sonya Deville looks absolutely knockout amazing without her makeup on. I knew it was someone. Yeah, and it was... You see Sonya Deville without her makeup, and you're like, whoa, she's hot. Here with the makeup, and just like, eh, I don't know. Whatever. Uh... So Lacey Evans continues to work over Bailey's arm. That's kind of the story of the match. She can't use the arm to get the, 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 ba the belly to belly, which is still the worst finisher of it. Uh, Charlotte, surprisingly, doesn't really get involved. She just kind of buzzes around the ring. I'll give Lacey credit this. She does that, that jumping twist moonsault. So she gets, she climbs up the top rope normally, jumps and twists, onto the top rope, then hits the moonsault. That's impressive. That's hard to do. That takes some training. I'll give her, again, I will give her credit where credit's due. That's that's amazing. Other spots, not amazing. Uh, what else was it? Again, the moonsault does look pretty, though. I don't know. Then Bailey hits the macho elbow. There's only one macho elbow. And that's done by the macho man himself, Randy Savage. And overall, I mean, it was a fun enough match. It was too long. They could have cut, again, they could have taken five minutes from that match and given it to Ali and Buddy Murphy or even Shelton Benjamin and Chad Gable at the end. And it would have made the show better. It's just a ham sandwich. Then there's a Daniel Bryan and, and Roman uh, promo in the back saying how they're going to make Roman say, I'm sorry, the two words. That was Randy Orton versus Biggie. Randy Orton. 
They're calling me. Uh, Big E starts, he just starts to beat on Randy. Very simply. Yeah, well, you're going to pay up now. Uh, I'm here to collect for Kofi. Uh, it was good. Uh, again, Randy's a smart heel. He always goes through the eyes. Very, very Ric Flair. I wonder if he picked up any. I wonder if Ric Flair ever gave him pointers about how to be a heel when he was in Legacy. Hmm. I know. I just saw that too. That's pretty good. You know, Randy Orton has to talk to his his father. I think his uncle also wrestled too. And Cowboy Bob Orton. Hey, he had like the forever broken arm. This would like knock out when he wore the cast. So he has to know something about heel techniques. In fact, I think it was. Cowboy Bob Orton that poked out that poked out Vader's eye. And Vader literally had to shove his eyeball back into the socket. Ouch. That's freaky. I remember the first time I had to put my contact lenses in. I thought I was going to get sick. Then you get used to it, though. You develop toughness. Yeah. Uh, again, big shots by both men. Randy Orton. He does a stomp on the fingers, the table, the table spots, both by Big E and Randy Orton. Oh, so good. Stomping on the fingers, classic. Uh, they do distract the ref, so that allows the Revival to punch and kind of stun Big E. And then, of course, it's time for the KO out of nowhere. Although you know where it's coming from. Randy Orton wins, and I'll tell you what, this was a fun cheeseburger match. And the revival show up, and he gets and Biggie gets 3D'd for his efforts. I'll call it a 3D because that's almost what it is. I don't have to remember what yeah. Or it's or it's gonna be the super RKO. Should call it, yeah. The T, the the, the, the R R K, the double R K, the double, the double R K O. I like that one. Uh, then it was Chad Gable promo. He's just being how told told short he is by Shelton Benjamin and Sarah's there being the interviewer. Sarah, I think, used to be an NXT ring announcer. She got promoted. They have what's her face doing NXT now. I think Dash has gone to some other indie promotion because she's on the the door of wrestling. She's Ashley, I think. I forget this is Zephyrus, Dade City, but she's she, but she's actually from that area though, or at least it's the, the western, west central part of Florida. Then Sarah got called up. And they have some new intern guy. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, then Shelton... Who was it when I saw first? Maybe it was Sarah. Or was it Dasha? All, all I know is <laughs> that she had on, like... um. Like spandex shirts because she had a summer dress on because she went to go step over the ropes and go to everyone stuff for spandex. And then Elijah shows up. He's not winning Helms. He's not winning King of the Ring mainly because he sat in the chair. You call people from Louisiana filthy swamp people. It's pretty close on on that regard. Uh, then Kevin Owens just stuns them. Kevin Owens gets cheered. Elias can sell that stunner. That was pretty cool. Then R-Truth comes out, tries to pin a prone Elias. Drake Maverick pulls R-Truth off of him. Drake Maverick goes for the pin. Drake Maverick's the new 24-7 champion. He gets to now consummate his marriage with his wife, if, if, they have, if they haven't already, out of kayfabe. Then we have Shelton Benjamin versus Chad Gable. Uh, wow, that's wow. that was a slap right around the world almost. It was a it was a fun match. It was a, I think my thing about this match it was short. 
again, they could have taken five minutes. <laughs> they could have, I'll be honest, they could have taken ten minutes away from the Bailey Lacey Evans match, put five, give five to Buddy Murphy and Ali, and five minutes here, and it probably would have made this match better. It just felt kind of rushed. Um, Shelton Benjamin, he looks like the, the New Japan Shelton ben Benjamin. I uh, swung him into that barrier, which is always a great looking spot. Uh, Chad Gable had a Lucha Destroyer and the cover and the win, and that was quick. I don't think that match. I don't think that match lasted five minutes, maybe seven. I don't know. It's just really quick. Again, this was the again the thing is this is the main event wrestling match. And WWE, this is what you're building Shelton Benjamin with his looks? A poor. Someone dropped the ball on that. This was a ham sandwich of a match. And then we get to the Roman Reigns part. Um, he starts to talk to Daniel and Brian and Rowan, who are backstage. You can see him on the Titantron. Rowan! What did you, what did you do, Rowan? Did you actually push that stuff over, Rowan? Daniel and Brian said, I didn't know he did that, and then slapped him. I hate liars. I hate liars. I hate liars. Fickle! Fickle! Eric Rowan is fickle! And that was SmackDown. Again, free quick show. I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Again, stay tuned or keep an eye out for... I don't know. Why do I even do that? Ooh, I can do that now. Oh, wow. I actually could. So sometime either Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday, look out for my previews. Oh, I could do that tomorrow. Wow, I have to think about what I'm doing tomorrow. No, wait. Thursday is better. Thursday, Friday ish. You'll get my you'll, you'll get my pick somewhere. I might make them now and and, and see what that toity toity Doctor Tom thinks. So again, I'd like to thank everyone for watching and have a good night. And I look forward to. This you guys watching my previews and then seeing me about Tom live, live stream my R R and R for NXT. Definitely NXT takeover Cardiff because I can't mess with that stuff. Oh then don't forget Friday night impact wrestling. I always forget forget about that. And then I'll have my all in show which I'll probably be a little bit looser with. Sounds bad. Bye.